This is the Court Gold Series OC8 nylon string. And we have George here with us today. Thanks for joining us, George. Thanks for having me. And uh, I actually heard you warming up before the videos today, and it sounds like you have quite a classical background. Is that true? Have you played classical? I do. I studied some classical in college, and uh, I, I write my own kind of neoclassical pieces that I incorporate into my sets. Excellent. Yeah, it comes out in your playing. So I'm really excited to hear your opinion of this guitar. Um, obviously, a, a barrier that some people have with the classical guitar is the wide neck. It's much wider than if they started playing a, a traditional guitar. How does that feel to you? The obstacle of, of a wider neck for a classical guitar is not as apparent on this particular guitar as it is on others. Definitely. It's definitely much easier to fret basic kind of classical guitar chord shapes than it would be on a traditional classical guitar, for sure. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, and another thing is the uh, cutaway. Normally you wouldn't see that on a traditional classical guitar. Right. And this gives you the ability to play leads or play up in the higher registers very easily. Would you mind maybe giving us a little demo of something higher up on the fretboard? Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you, George. That sounds great. So uh, just walking you through a couple of the other features on this. This is an all solid wood construction. On the top, we have a solid Engelman spruce. And on the back, if you want to flip that guitar over there, we have a beautiful Palferro construction. You can see the sap in this particular one. Every guitar is going to be different. You know, this wood has a beautiful grain. You know, you'll get a lot of character out of this instrument. So on the fretboard here, we have an ebony fretboard, which is known for just smooth playability and feel. And on the back, if you flip it over, uh, still staying on the neck here, something you would never notice just by looking at the guitar, the inside is uh, reinforced with walnut strips, and it's also a double locking neck joint. So it is attached to the guitar in two different places. Um, you can count on this neck being true and stable for years and years. Now, one of the things that Court uh, used on this guitar is its age to vintage process. What that is, is it's a treated top, and it gives you the sound of a decades-old guitar right from the start. So you get that really warm, open kind of sound. So George, for the electronics in this guitar, they incorporated a Fishman Flex Blend system. So let's kind of walk through it here. Uh, you do have a built-in tuner. And then you have a tone knob with the ability to click that for a phase invert. And then also, this is where the magic is, is the blend knob. And so let's experiment with a little of the different sounds. As I understand, right now you have a blend between two things, the under saddle transducer, and then there's a discreetly mounted condenser microphone in the sound hole of the guitar. So let's hear what that sounds like with about a 50-50 blend. All right, sounds great. And now let's, uh, let's take the, the blend knob and we'll turn it all the way down. So now what you're going to be hearing is 100% just the, the under the saddle transducer. All right, thanks. And you can't hear that setting without trying the total opposite direction, so let's crank that knob up. And this is going to be the maximum amount of microphone that you can incorporate to blend in with the transducer.
All right, so that's a run through of the Fisherman Flex Blend system. So what are your thoughts after trying out all those different settings? It's super unique, and I, I haven't gotten a chance to try something like this before, but from just experimenting just a little bit, I like to blend in the microphone about 60% of the way and kind of favor it just a little bit. I think that sounds the richest to me. Yeah, and also maybe the most natural because that microphone in there is going to pick up the, the tone woods, the air moving through it, and give you a really natural acoustic sound. So as you can see, this is far from your typical classical guitar. And if you're looking for a guitar with that one-of-a-kind nylon string tone, check out the Cork Gold Series OCA.